Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you what are transactions and how to implement transactions in our ADO.NET. Let us see first the necessity of transaction. Say I have a table called as employee where I have employee ID, employee name, employee salary, employee date of joining, employee gender and department ID. Now if I observe this field salary say the employee joined my organization in the year 2005 and I offered him a salary of 8000 rupees now after an year his salary got incremented to 12,000 what is that I do I simply update the employee salary column now, after say one more year the salary got updated to 25,000 say currently the employee is getting salary of 35,000 that means in past three to four years I have updated the salary for three to four times now if I want to calculate the amount that has been paid to this employee since he joined the organization I cannot do that because I'll get the updated current salary that is 35 if I perform 35 into 12 that is 35,000 per year and into 5 say he's working for past 5 years I'll get a wrong amount it means that I do not have the track of employee salary which is getting changed after an year so whenever I have any field in my table that changes slowly that updates slowly say it gets updated once in a year twice in a year or once in two years so normally that kind of information we maintain in tables called as history tables or I say separate employee salary what I do here is whenever I create a record in employee table at the same time I'll insert one more record in salary table where I have employee ID as foreign key employee salary start date is nothing but date of joining and end date will be null so in my first insert in the employee table I'll insert employee ID salary start date and date in employee salary table now say after any year I have updated the salary of the employee so whenever I perform an update operation on the employee table what I do is I make the end date as current date of that particular employee in this employee salary table and I insert one more record with start date as current date and new salary and end date as null that means I am trying to maintain the history of employee salary let's see that by executing the query if you observe here I have employee table and employee salary table if I see Tom whenever I insert a record Tom at the same time I am going to insert one more record in employee salary table some salary ID which is an auto increment column employee ID 1 salary 6000 start date the date of joining end date that means I have updated this salary once from 6000 to 12000 now here the end date is same as your start date so the updated salary record is available with me now I can keep a track in this I have the latest salary whereas in this table I have the track of employee ID 1 so employee 1 got the salary 6000 from this date till this date and employee ID 1 is getting 12000 from this date whenever I see end date as null that is the current salary if you see the end, end date as null of employee ID 2 the current salary is 7000 it means what whenever I want to perform an insert operation I need to insert it in two tables and whenever I want to perform update operation I need to perform three operations one I need to update the record in parent table and the second I need to update the existing record and third I need to insert a new record now let us perform an update operation on Peter I want to update the salary of Peter from 7000 to 9000 whose ID is 2 so I have a set of queries for that I need to update the salary 
from 7000 now I'll, I'll change it to 9000 where employee ID is 2 that means I'm updating the salary in this table so this salary 7000 it will be changing to 9000 so whenever I perform this update operation what is that I need to do I need to update this record and here I need to say the end date as current date so I say update employee salary set end date as current date where employee ID is 2 and end date is null that means I can have multiple records of the same employee so I'll check for the latest record which is null and after making this null as end date current date I'll insert a new record into the same table with same employee ID 2 and the updated salary 9000 and start date as get date and end date is null date I'll execute these three queries three records got inserted now let us see the updated data if you observe Peter current salary is 9000 and I have two records of Peter 7000 start date and end date from this date till this date the salary of Peter was 7000 and from 2011 till this date the salary of updated salary is 9000 it means what whenever whenever I update the record I need to perform these three operations I need to update in master table and update in child table and insert in child table I need to perform these three operations if all the three operations are successful then I can say that my transaction is successful so transaction is nothing but it is set of operations so whenever I execute a transaction what happened what should happen it should execute all the queries now assume that if at all I am trying to update the salary of employee 1 I'm updating it to 19,000 now what should happen this record end date should get the current date and I should have one more record with 19,000 salary so I now I have the track the updated salary is 19,000 assume that assume that at the time of query execution query 1 and query 2 got executed successfully but it has got failed while executing query 3 now say I want to update the salary from 19,000 to 20,000 and here so I'll write 20,000 now assume that this gets failed this query gets failed at the time of execution say what is that I'll do instead of passing date if I'm passing some string here it should throw an exception here and this should query should get failed so what is that it will do it will perform these two operations and it will not at all perform this insert operation which will break our data structure logic and you will never find the latest salary in employee salary table two records got inserted and while inserting the third record it got failed now you do not have the latest salary of employee 1 available in this employee 1 where the end date is null do I have any record with employee 1 end date null no it means what <coughs> whenever in a transaction if any of the query gets failed 
what all the operations that we have performed earlier should be rolled back. So if all the operations are successful then we say that the transaction is successful. If at all any operation gets failed the complete transaction should be failed. That means this must be undone even this should be undone. So how to implement this kind of scenarios in ADO.NET we will see in our next video. Thank you very much.